So let us elucidate now the nature of the tumor markers. Tumor markers in general can be antigens secreted by the tumor or they can be the antigens presented by the tissue where the tumor occurs or they may be hormones as in case of thyroid cancer, excess thyroxin or medullary carcinoma, excess calcitonin or they may be enzymes in certain situations or they may be tissue specific products related to the tissue wherein the tumor is there. So tumor markers can be antigens, hormones, enzymes and tissue specific factors and many other types also which we will see in the subsequent slide. The types of tumor markers are tumor associated proteins or TAP or they may be cell membrane receptors of the tumor cells or the hormone secreted by the uncontrolled growth of the tumor excess of the hormones or they may be immunoglobulins or cellular antigens presented by the tumors or the tumor specific tissues, polyamines or they may be protein clusters, the protein synthesized by the abnormal cells during their multiplication or protein fragments, bits of those proteins. Sometimes they may be chromosomal material of the oncogenes which cause the tumor or they may be the genes themselves like the oncogenes causing different uh, cancers. For chromosomal material, the best example is the Philadelphia chromosome in chronic myeloid leukemia or they may be parts of the genetic material like the RNA or DNA or the messenger RNA. Sometimes they may be cell modulators like cell transducers or cell suppressors. So the tumor markers can take any one or more of these uh, different categories which we will be seeing in the subsequent slides. Of all the types of tumor markers which we have listed in the previous slide, tumor associated antigens are very important. They can be viral antigens, namely the viral proteins and glycoproteins which are incorporated into the tumor or the viruses which cause the tumor or there may be new antigens produced by virally infected host cells under the control of the viral nucleic acid. So the virus infects the host cell and that infection produces newer antigens uh, by the host cells themselves because they are infected by the virus and the viral nucleic acid content is there in the DNA of the host cell and such viral antigens can become uh, useful as tumor markers. Tumor specific antigens that means the tumor cells themselves develop new antigens on their surface specific to their carcinogens or tumor specific transplantation antigens. Tumor cells express new types of antigens, new types of major histocompatibility antigens due to the alterations of normally present MHC antigens. So the tumors in such a way, the tumors alter the MHC antigens in such a way that they express new MHC antigens. These are called the transplantation antigens. So there are other types also which we will see in the subsequent slide. These tumor associated antigens can be oncofetal genes or oncofetal antigens. Oncofetal antigens means these antigens are present during the fetal life but once the child is born these antigens disappear and never reappear again in the adult life. But if the person develops certain types of cancers these fetal antigens or oncofetal antigens again reappear in the blood and they are used as tumor markers. The best example is CEA carcinoembryonic antigen. This carcinoembryonic antigens normally are expressed during the fetal life on the fetal gut and they disappear after birth. They again reappear in the adult life in patients who have carcinomas of the GI tract, of the pancreas, of the biliary system and the breast. The other type of oncofetal antigen is alpha fetoprotein. This alpha fetoprotein also is present in the fetal life normally expressed in the fetal life disappears after birth but if the alpha fetoproteins reappear and the levels get elevated 
and it is suggestive of hepatoma. I had a patient who is a patient of hepatitis B virus and he showed some changes in the liver function and some deterioration in his general condition. When we looked at the alpha feta proteins, the alpha feta protein levels are very high. Immediately we did a CD abdomen to find out that there is an early hepatoma. So this is to say that these oncofetal antigens could be very useful as tumor markers in certain cases, particularly the CEA and the alpha feta protein. Sometimes there may not be tumor antigens, but there may be tumor products or the output from the tumors. For example, hormones, chorionic gonadotrophin, human chorionic gonadotrophin HCG is present only when the person is pregnant, only in pregnant women. But if HCG levels are found in higher concentrations, it suggests choriocarcinoma or ovarian cancer. This is a normal, HCG is a normal hormone secreted by the placenta in case of pregnancy. But choriocarcinoma, the levels will be very high, likewise in ovarian cancer. Thyroxine is normally secreted by the thyroid gland, but it's secreted in excess when there is a thyroid cancer. The cancer cells of the thyroid produce excess thyroxine and produce hyperthyroidism. So sometimes the tumor products need not be hormones, they can be enzymes. For example, acid phosphatase in case of prostatic cancer, alkaline phosphatase, lipase and amylase and other enzymes in case of cancer of the pancreas. So likewise, tumor products can be either antigens and tumor uh, markers can be either antigens or tumor products like hormones and enzymes, which we will see some of those uh, other types in the subsequent slides. There are specific classes of tumor markers. For example, enzymes, prostate specific antigen, NSE, VMA, HVA. NSE is neuron specific enolase, vanillin mandelic acid, prostate specific antigen. This is also a derivative of mandelic acid. These are seen in, these are catecholamines seen in case of adrenal tumors. Cell membrane receptors, particularly useful are the estrogen receptors and the progestin receptors in breast cancer. Tumor antigens, as we have seen in the previous slide, CEA and AFP, which are, alpha, uh, which are oncofetal antigens. Sometimes tumor antibodies may be detectable in the form of immunoglobulin A, G, M and D. Sometimes tumor antigens can, uh, themselves can be seen in the serum or in the tumor uh, mass. They are the P53 and K62. Carcinoma specific proteins, CA specific proteins like CA99 and 124 are also uh, another class of tumor markers. Gene mutation products in breast cancer, BRCA1 and 2, these are mutations of the genes which are inherited and they will have a familial tendency and these are breast cancer genes identified as BRCA1 and 2. So these are some of the specific classes of uh, tumor markers. We will see some more in the next slide. Some more specific classes of tumor markers. These include tissue specific proteins like PSA, human chorionic gonadotrophin, special hormones like beta HCG or human CGH, catecholamines like vanillin mandelic acid, and ACTH, HVA, etc., polyamines or cytoplasmic or nuclear material like the DNA, products of cell turnover. In tumor mass, what will happen is there will be an enormous amount of cell multiplication and cell turnover that can result in tumor necrosis factor alpha. Cell modulators also can be identified like K62 and CERB2 antigens, which are cell modulators. So these are some of the specific classes of tumor markers.